Hello, it is time to handle that big, gnarly question that all DJs have to deal with at every point in their career. Even the superstar DJs occasionally get caught out by this one. And it's very simple. It is, how do we deal with bad requests? How do we do that? We get them. People ask things that we really don't want to do. How do we cope? What do we say? How do we make sure that we leave people happy, but at the same time, we don't blow the vibe of the, of the night that we're DJing and blow the chance of DJing there again, right? We've all been there, and this is one of the biggest bugbears of DJs the world over. Our job now then is to help you to fix that, help you to come up with the right things to say to make these people go away. <laughs> in the nicest possible way. So if you found this video, you found the recording of this, it's a live show from the Digital DJ Tips studios. Here they are. Uh, we teach from here week in, week out, year in, year out. But we do these live shows on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 3 p.m. London, 10 a.m. Eastern, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch. If you found the recording of this, watch on, because not only will I share my tips from decades of DJing and how to deal with bad requests, but the audience will chip in. I know because we've got an awesome community here. Uh, but let's start off then by looking at uh, some of the things that over the years have helped me when someone comes up and just wants you to play something that is not right. And you know it's not right, you know it's going to kill the vibe, but you, you don't know how to deal with it. So, uh, by the way, before we go any further, uh, if you are watching live, you're lucky because at the end of this, we'll be giving away three of these. It's the Hercules, the brand new Hercules DJ Control Impulse T7, and we've got three of them to give away. We've got a free prize draw, so I will tell you how you can enter that right after we have done today's topic. Uh, so, how do we deal with those bad requests? Um, the first thing I think you need to do is remember the overriding thing here, which is that they're requests. They're not demands. No one has got the right to demand that you, the DJ, does stuff that you don't want to do. And that's the big thing that people forget. They think, oh, I've got to do this. It's like something that, that you know, if I'm not doing it right, then uh, if I'm not doing it, then, I'm, then, then people are going to kind of like get really annoyed with me. And that's really not true. The truth here is that it's up to you how you, how you handle requests. And depending upon the night, it could be that, hey, you know, in some places you do requests all night long because that's the kind of place it is. In other places, you're never going to play a request. And so it's really about knowing the venue before you do anything else. Is it expected there? Is it what people do there? If you're playing in a pub, uh, playing top 40 music or a wedding or somewhere where, you know, the music, there is a bit of give and take. It's very different to playing somewhere where the music is uh, is, is totally down to you, like a, like a club where you're picking the vibe. You've been booked as the DJ to do your thing, right? So that's the first thing that it's worth remembering that it is important that you, you know, say I might play two or three songs from people here tonight, but mainly I'm going to play my own thing, or I do need to play lots of requests and be a bit of a human jukebox. So anyway, the requests, not demands, that's the first thing. So here's some things that have always worked for me. Having a friend there, having a friend there will help you to deflect away from people who are uh, who are asking stuff because if you're on your decks, you're busy spinning away, the very last thing you want to do is uh, find yourself having to handle all these people saying, hey, can you uh, please come and uh, come and listen to me and come and, uh, you know, be my friend. Uh, I don't want to be your friend. I want a DJ. Uh, so having a friend in that DJ booth with you who can help you, who can uh, fend off the people and say, yeah, no, he or she's busy, but let me help. What is it you want? Okay, as soon as they're free, I'll tell them. Um, then that can really help. Um, you know, none of these things, by the way, are fail safe. None of these things are going to fix issues uh, 100%. But, you know, a combination of them will make your life a lot easier. So just having a friend there. Another thing that really works well is having a book or having a notepad where you can hand it to someone and say, what, you want a request? Great, write it down. I'll do my best. Just hand it to them and let them write it down. Uh, it's something that will save you having to talk to them. If that's what you run, that's the way you do it, and people can see that's the way you do it, then hey, you are, uh, you're quite within your rights to do that. And, uh, and, and, you know, I like to wear headphones and pretend I'm DJing, even if I'm not, right? So I'll get my headphones on. I'll be like this. What? Give me a minute. Keep saying give me a minute enough. They might go away. Uh, so when is it right? When is it okay to say, go away and to try and, you know, politely get rid of people. And when is it worth talking to them? This is a good one. And I have a kind of hierarchy here. And I will have the girls who are dancing, 
as the very, very gold standard top of the pile. Moving down through the boys who are dancing, and then the people who are obviously having fun in the club, but not on the dance floor, the people who are kind of like looking a bit moody, and we'll end off, just to be funny, flippant, flippantly, we'll end off with the boys who are wearing rock band t-shirts and who are sat in the corner and who haven't moved from their seats all night. And then one of them comes over to you and says, can you play? Because I can guarantee they're gonna give you a really obscure song that they just wanna hear off an album that them and their mates like. Uh, and they are not thinking about making the vibe in the room any better than it already is. So there is a real hierarchy here. The girls who are dancing and have been dancing all night, listen to them, right? They've probably got some really good ideas. Same with the boys, although the girls tend to know the music better and they tend to be the ones leading the, uh, the charge on the dance floor. Uh, so, you know, it's just, it's also a case of, you know, do I need to deflect this person? Sometimes if you're having a bad night, and sometimes if you can't figure out what the dance floor wants, you might find one or two people out there are your friends and they really help you. They're really requesting things that are going to work. Uh, but at other times you get all those and we've all heard them, right? Can you play it now because it's my friend's birthday? Or can you play it now because we're leaving? Or can you play it? Can you play this? And you're actually playing it at the moment they ask. I mean, we've heard them all, right? So, you know, this whole thing is uh, you've got to decide how seriously you're going to take uh, some of this stuff and how much of it you're going to Treat with a pinch of salt. Right, another tactic. I haven't got the song. I haven't got it. Nowadays, phones do not have sockets on where you can plug in uh, easily from a headphones output into your DJ gear. So you can just say, sorry, I haven't got it. And they can't hand you their phone and say, well, can you play it off my phone? I have, because you can't plug in. So even if you can plug in, even if there's a way, certainly don't advertise it. Sorry, I've not got it. Another thing, oh, I'd love to, but it's not that kind of night, or I'm not allowed to play that kind of music tonight. This is a insert genre here night, not a genre they asked for night. Um, you know, other, other ways of doing it, I'll try to. I'll try my hardest to play that for you. Um, or um, what else would I use? Um, I've already played it. <laughs> it's a bit sneaky, but if you see someone arrive and ask for something, I've already played it. If you have already played it, well, you have already played it. Um, you know, the, there are times when you have to play requests. If the bride at a wedding that you're booked to DJ at wants to hear a song, of course you're going to play it. But there are other times when you really are not. If the greasy heavy metal fan in the corner uh, a disco night comes over and says this music sh shit can you play you know Def Leppard um you know you've got to have balls here you're the DJ you're in charge ultimately people respect that if you act as if that's the case but if you act as if it isn't they're going to take advantage of you we're all nice we all want to be nice it's very hard to be you, your job is to keep the vibe going your job is to party with people and your job is to look like you're having the time of your life just like they are. And so it's very hard to have this kind of hard edge, but you've got to remember you're working here. Even that is an act sometimes. Even that leading the party is often an act. And so at the same time, the way you deal with people privately when they are in your face, in your workspace, because that's what it is, you know, is something that you need to practice uh, because it's not always easy. But that's my tips on handling requests anyway. What I'm going to do now though is go over to you guys and girls and we'll see what you've got to say about this. Now we are having a problem here with getting your, uh, getting your uh, comments up on the screen, for some reason they're not coming up today, which is unusual. So I'm assuming that uh, I can get them if I just pop into the uh, pop into the chat on YouTube at least. So we're gonna we're gonna favour YouTube, and then if I can, I'll get the Facebook and Twitch comments on as well. Uh, but for now, I'm going to head over to YouTube, uh, and I'm going to hope that there are comments coming in live on this video, uh, because if there ain't comments coming in live on this video, then I am stuck for chatting to you, which is bad because that's my favourite part of this whole thing, is uh, the actually getting to talk to you. So let's uh, just try and get it open over there and we'll see what we can do. Uh, it's, a, it's always a case with live shows that you just sometimes have to uh, roll with the punches uh, and uh, things do go wrong. So right, let's grab, here we go, here we go. Latest, where's my lives? Where's live on the YouTube app? Come on, YouTube, give me the live stuff. Videos, there we go, there's the videos, but there's live there, right, okay, here we are. How DJs handle bad song requests, right? I can YouTube, see that. give me the live stuff, videos. Uh, but let's just hope we've got, the, um, we've got the chat going on down here as well. Right, where is it? Where's the chat? Come on, come on, come on, chat, 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 chat. I've got no idea. I've got no idea how to find the chat box on a live video on YouTube. How do I do that, people? Someone help me. It's going to be a short live if I can't get your requests up, isn't it? 
uh, your request. Do you see that Freudian slip? I'll tell you what I'll do. While I'm getting it going on the computer here, I'll tell you about our competition because our competition today is an absolutely amazing one. You can win one of these. This is the Hercules, uh, the Hercules Impulse T7, it's called. The Hercules Impulse T7. It's a motorized jog wheel controller from Hercules. It's for Serato, comes with Serato DJ Lite, but it also comes with Dejuice, which is a full piece of DJ software. The Serato DJ Lite is uh, it's the cut down kind of version of Serato, but it comes with Dejuice as well, which is awesome. And then you have got your two main channels here. You've got your You've got your paddles, uh, you've got nice VU meters on this. We haven't actually got around to reviewing it yet, but we will be nice long throw pitch controls as well here. And so this is a really good unit. It's like retails at about 700, I think, um, but we've got three of these to give away. Uh, and that means that if you want one of these, all you've got to do is enter the prize draw that I'm about to tell you about. It's gonna be open for the next couple of, uh, the, next, the next week at least, I think, maybe the week, next week and a half. So. Here's how you do it. Uh, go to djtips.co, that's djtips.co slash win. Okay, djtips.co slash win. Head over there and we will enter you into that comp into that prize draw for free. And then I think on uh, October the 11th, I'm guessing this stuff by the way, but at some point a week or two in the future, we will announce the winners on one of these shows. We'll also email winners and we'll also put them in the article that's going live on the website as well. So, um, Enter, you could win one of these and it's a great prize and Hercules have very kindly donated three of them uh, to our fantastic community to win. Right, I've got YouTube comments, finally. Here they are, welcome everyone. Look, there you are, uh, I found you finally online. So we're going to now be chatting to all of you about requests. How have you dealt with requests? By the way, if you're watching on Facebook or Twitch today, I'm sorry, I won't be getting your requests up. It's been hard enough getting you getting YouTube up. I ain't going to uh, push my luck. Uh, so I'm going to be taking all that. Did I say requests again? You know what I meant, comments. Uh, I'm going to be taking them all from YouTube today and we'll try and get that fixed for next time. First time it's gone wrong. Uh, so hello to Kesha, hello to Baynard, Mixmaster G, hello to Anil the Synth Maniac, hello to Baynard and to the ruckus. Uh, right, let's get talking then. So you don't like my music says, just pretend you can't hear the people making requests or just nod and ignore them. I mean, look, it's a dark art. It is a dark art here and I'm, I'm with you there all the way. Uh, hello, DJ John Roback. Uh, Tanil says, good topic. I know it's, a, it's, a, it's a, an evergreen, isn't it? Mo says, good day from me. Uh, so I didn't bring that. Yes, I didn't bring that with me tonight is another good one. Um, put your stage so high that no one can reach you. Tomorrowland st uh, style says, sick. Uh, 015. I mean, that's true, isn't it? But if you look at, you know, boiler rooms and stuff like that, they are um, designed so that you're near the crowd. And sometimes it's nice to be near the crowd, but I totally get what you're saying there. If you can be designed out of it, that's a good thing. Uh, DJ Peter Lowe says the most irritating requests are ones for a song you just played 10 minutes ago, but they want you to play it again because it's their birthday. That's exactly what I said there, isn't it as well, DJ Peter Lowe? We've all been there. Um, oh my God, like, could you please play Agadu, says Roland. I mean, the thing is, I think it's, there's a couple of other things to point out here as well. The first thing is you DJ week in, week out, hopefully, regularly, you DJ a lot, you know your music, you know what you like to hear, you know what is a bit boring now for you because you've heard it a hundred times. <coughs> Uptown funk, and you know what I mean, right? But at the same time, the people who are coming out are, on a big night out, this is like maybe the first time they've been out in months, they really want to hear their song. And so just respect that, respect that sometimes you're gonna to have to play the songs that they really want to hear. And maybe more people really want to hear them too. So it's, it's, it's not always that you're right and they're wrong, it's just, finding that balance and always doing it with a smile. I think that's really, really important. We haven't mentioned alcohol yet, of course, you're hopefully not drunk, they are. How do you deal with drunk people? I am terrible at it, uh, but how do you do it? If you don't deal very well with drunk people, it doesn't matter if they're asking for music or not, just the fact that they're approaching you and breathing on you is gonna be making you bad tempered. Know that, know that that's true. Don't, you don't have to change, just know that that's you, that's how you are and, you know, cover it up because you've got no right to be judgmental about people out on a great, having a great time. As we get older as DJs, this becomes more of a problem, trust me, if you're not very old yet. Uh, right, what else have we got here? What else are you saying about requests? Philip says, I was doing a company barbecue and I got a request for Baby Shark. 
it was a floor filler. There you go. Um, I spent hours programming this set and that song isn't part of it. Sorry. Ah, take it or leave it that one, but uh, you know, all these ideas are good. Take the ones that resonate with you. Uh, the Rockus says, I'll see what I can do. Yep, yeah, I like I'll see what I can do. Um, so DJ Peter Lowe says, I played Baby Shark as a troll move once. Uh, the song had a drop where the artists go, do do do. And right on that drop, I did the do do's of Baby Shark. I hid under the table for a whole verse. Oh my God, hid it hiding under the table. How many times have we done that? I've done it on a bad mix. You're busy DJing away and you drop a song and it all goes wrong. And you just go, <laughs> just disappear under the table. I've done it before. Hiding under the table. What cowards we are. Um, so um, if you've got questions here that are not about naming, um, sorry, that are not about requests, then 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 come back next time, please, because we're going to stick to the request today. That said, it is Thursday. We do like to slip, slip one or two off-topic questions in, so I'll just pick one or two. And Sony Man here says, a question regarding DJ names. What do you do when you come up with a great DJ name for yourself and you find someone else already has it? Uh, uh, well, it depends how ambitious you are as a DJ. If you just want to DJ in your town or locally, then I don't think it really matters. If you want to make a name for yourself and start touring and putting music out, find another name. Uh, right, so if you don't want to play it, says Roland on the Ropes, uh, just say no with a smile, uh, but say thank you for asking. Confidence is key. Exactly what I was saying. You've got to show people you're in charge, but that doesn't mean that you have to be in any way rude. Benedict says... Benedict's comment has just jumped right to the top of the screen, just as I was about to read it. Uh, Benedict says, I had a request during a vinyl only set, but I did not have the track. So I came up with a compromise where I played a track, track within the genre the person wanted, but a different artist. Yeah, you know, you can say, oh, I haven't got that, but how about this? If you've got one by the same artist you want to play or whatever. You know, I also think if you uh, know you're going to play a song anyway, then making a big thing about playing it for them means they ain't going to come back for more requests, right? So if someone says, please, can you play, you know, I don't know, J-Lo or whatever, and you're like, ah, wasn't really going to play that tonight, but I'll tell you what, seeing it's you, just this, just this once, I'll play that for you, right? Have a good night. Bye. <laughs> and you're going to play it anyway, right? Hopefully they won't trouble you again. It's about management. Uh, so this is from uh, this is from Stevie B. Uh, just asking quickly if Recordbox software has been released on Android phones. Yes, it has, Stevie B. Uh, uh, Sellard, Sellard Wellers, I think. It's very very small. The typeface on YouTube's uh, YouTube's uh, system much smaller than I'm used to on our lovely system that combines all the comments from all the different platforms. So sorry if I'm getting your names wrong. Anyway, Sellard Wellers says, I DJ loads of these greasy rock fan gigs uh, over the years. I DJ motorcycle rallies and I've had a good number of folks ask for real curveball requests to try and catch me out. It never works. Right, so if you've got the heavy metal kid, by the way, I'm not picking on anyone here, but if you've got the heavy metal guys in the corner and you're playing a rock gig, my advice isn't quite right, but uh, yeah. Hello, Phil from Mexico, says Jacobs. Uh, down here, the birthday song that is in demand more is a mariachi song. Try working with that, hey. You've got to work with what goes in your territory. Um, so this is from DJ Peter Lowe. Sometimes I make more money from requests than I do from the promoter, depending on the night. This is a very typically US thing. This just does not happen here in Europe where you can take money to play requests. I agree totally. It'd be a very different vibe here in Europe, I think, if we could make five, 10, 20 dollars just for playing a song. There'd be a lot more requests played and a lot fewer DJs moaning about it. Um, so, um, so thank you, Dennis, for that tip, uh, or rather that little bit of, what's the word I'm looking for? That little bit of um, um, problem shooting. Apparently our email page has got two fields for signing up for the email address. Uh, Digital DJ Tips team, if you're watching, and some, one of you probably is, uh, can you just flag in the system that there might be an issue with the sign up page for the uh, winning this, winning this. By the way, if you wonder what I'm talking about, you could win one of these, the Hercules DJ Control Impulse T7. Go to djtips.co slash win. Uh, and you can grab one of these for yourself um, if you're a lucky winner. We've got three to give away. Um, so I'm assuming I'm, I'm assuming I'm giving the right address out there. Um, I always want, worry about myself as I get older. You know, everything needs to be written down, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's what they told me. Anyway, there might be an issue with that page. If there is, sorry, Dennis, we'll get it fixed fast. Um, so this is from a Vicious Code. 
Uh, if they want a request, they can expect to pay the DJ for the request. Yeah, we were just talking about that, weren't we? If the DJ has to deal with the ridiculous track, let the DJ get something out of it as well. Another thing, here's a great one for weddings, right? You're DJing at a wedding and someone comes up to you, you know, the uncle of the bride or something and says, please, can you play insert inappropriate track that you know is going to clear the dance floor here, right? Uh, you know it's going to clear the dance floor on the one hand. On the other hand, it's a respected family member, it's the uncle, of, and it obviously means a, very, a lot to them. What do you do? I think a really respectful way of doing that is to grab your microphone, fade the music down, and say, I've got the uncle and the bride here. It's a very special night for him, it's a very special night for her, and he really wants to play this song because you found out why, you know, because it reminds him of when she was seven and she went to the fairground at Disney and this was playing when she went on her first roller coaster. So here it is, the, you know, Bay City Rollers. Uh, look, at that point you play the song, the dance floor clears, he's had his moment, she knows why you did it, no one's blaming you. And then at the end you can fade it out early, say thank you very much, what a lovely memory and what a great song to play. Let's get back to the music now, you know, bang, back into the beats. So you can kind of deflect the blame onto the person who asked in the nicest possible way because of course it's not it's not about blame, but it's also about showing that you know what you're up to. This is an interesting one. I like this from William. If they ask in Spanish, I speak English. Uh, si, hablan en inglés, hablo en español. And smile. In other words, <laughs> pretend you speak the language they don't speak. Cheeky. Uh, right, what else have we got? Um, um, oh, yeah, I am coast to coast. Says, be honest. Say, sorry, I won't play that. Or I'll try to fit it in very much later. Uh, Big Joe Joyce, I've been asked to host a room at a school event fair and get kids involved in DJing. I plan uh, to plan to have a large house playlist as it's easy for them to mix. Um, I don't want them to take pictures and stuff as well. What a great idea, Big Joe Joyce. I um, taught my daughter to DJ at her school, uh, her school event as well. I would say get a streaming service into your DJ software so they can pick any music they want. Don't bother about getting a playlist and just make sure your streaming service, you've highlighted all the, you know, the big dance records, big pop records and so on. Um, and that way it's a lot easier. Um, Benny, I put, point them to my Venmo QR code for a $10 minimum uh, for requests. It pretty much works, fantastic. This is all the American stuff on how to get people to pay you for, <laughs> pay you for the request. I love it, wish I was in America. Uh, David, requests can be really cool. I agree with you, David. And they add to your night at times. They can mean the crowd is really enjoying what you're doing and feel comfortable approaching you. Good vibes, in other words. Thank you, David, it's true. And I agree with you. Uh, they can be great, especially, as I said, when you're having a difficult difficult night. Uh, it's your last chance really now, people. How do you deal with requests? Have you got any, um, any times that they've gone really wrong for you that you want to share with us? Any tips, any secret ways of deflecting the requesters? Uh, a few more minutes to get them in now while I just uh, answer and, uh, and, and share some of the other things that uh, the audience is saying. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, tell you one more time how you can win this got three of them, DJ Control Impulse. Should I zoom out a little bit so you can see it better? We had a kind of moody zoom in there for the opening shot. If I zoom out like that, get that back in focus. There you go. So yeah, we've got three of these to give away. Fantastic little controller indeed. Well, I say little, it's a nice size. Um, so right, final, uh, final tips from you guys and girls on how to deal with requests. Drink yogurt. Great name, Drink Yogurt. Says, I play obscure 90s and 2000s techno and hard groove, so no one is able to request anything relevant. Yeah, exactly. If you've got this, this vibe, this, this type of set, this type of event where it's not about requests, then great. Um, so the, the Menno Knight says, I have them right on a notebook. Uh, maybe I'll get there, maybe I won't, yeah. Uh, human cells, I become sarcastic. I was streaming a drum and bass set and someone in the chat kept asking for an Eminem track. Interesting, yeah, if you're do, dealing with um, uh, a live stream situation, I've you know been assuming all the way through this uh, conversation today that we are talking about playing live, but if you're live streaming, different vibe, I get it. Now, we haven't been able to pull your, your um, comments in from Facebook today or Twitch. I'm very, very sorry, Facebook and Twitch people. That's because it all went wrong uh, and our system, did, our system is not bringing those comments in. I'll just give have one final chance check and make sure that it isn't because who knows maybe it's corrected itself uh, but nope there's no there's no chat coming in at all unfortunately uh, which is a shame but I guess it happens sometimes uh, but uh, so we've had to stick with YouTube so sorry about that everyone else but we'll hopefully next time that will work as it as it always does first time I can think of the chat not working for years. So maybe uh, our streaming provider is just having a little bit of a hiccup. Uh, so digital DJ tips 
are giving away three of these. That's what I was halfway through doing there, wasn't it? They're giving away three of these. It's the Hercules DJ Control Impulse T7, and you can win one of these by going to djtips.co slash win, djtips.co slash win. Head to that URL and enter your email address. We will enter you in the free prize draw to win one of these. Um, it's been great. Thank you, people, for joining me. I hope we've given you some tips and I hope you've enjoyed sharing your stories. I will see you again next Tuesday, 3 p.m. London, 10 a.m. Eastern, uh, and also next Thursday, same time, same place, for more uh, questions, tips, and advice from the studios of Digital DJ Tips. Enter that competition, but meanwhile, from me, Phil, get good, get out there, make the moments. We'll see you again very soon. Till next time, bye-bye for now.